I present to you my shameful drawer of screwdrivers. It's full of inconsistent screwdrivers, never the one I need, and they're all quite worn down. I need something new, and since I don't actually use screwdrivers that often and not for very important things, I decided not to splurge out for anything nice. I settled on two sets of maximum screwdrivers. I think I got them for $40 total, and that's Canadian, so it's like $30 American. The value is great, they're going to be functional for what I do, but I am aware they're not the best screwdrivers on the market. In this video, I'm going to be trying a new method to replace the screwdriver handles for something made of wood. The difference with what I've done in the past is that this time I'm going to be actually attaching the screwdrivers to the handles before turning them. This is going to make them perfectly concentric and actually quite a bit more solid because they're going to be sandwiched on the screwdriver with epoxy and so on, and I hope that this is going to be much higher quality than what I've done in the past. I've never seen this done before, but spoiler, it worked amazing, so onwards we go.
alloys on the screwdrivers are quite nice, besides for the square drive one. The square drive tip on the screwdriver is presumably even better than the rest of the other screwdrivers, but the actual shafts for the square drive screwdrivers feel almost just like mild steel. They're very easily bendable. Nice. Okay, so what you saw me make here was actually the rings that go around the screwdrivers. Usually these are brass, but I thought the copper did a nice contrast with this wood. I put the initials on the smaller ones, and I put my full name on the larger ones. Spectacularly, I misspelled my name on one of these, which is, you know, an achievement, but I'm still not really impressed with my engraving skills, but it's getting there and I need more practice. One of the big design advantages to the way I made them with the sandwiching method is that they're actually a lot stronger than my old ones were, so by testing it by hand I wasn't able to break them, they take all the torque I can put on them. In the end I was able to break them with a pair of channel locks, but they stood up to anything realistic that I would put on them. In the end I would classify them as being just strong enough to do anything a regular woodworker would do and anything a small time mechanic would do. That being said, I wouldn't recommend them for working on the International Space Station, but NASA if you're watching this, please, please, this isn't the right channel. Naturally, the last step is to make a drawer that actually works with all these screwdrivers in a way that is coherent with the rest of my workbench.
made the screwdrivers in three different sizes, small, medium, and large. The large one's a little bit big for me, the medium one's just perfect, and the small one's just cute. The reason I made these wooden screwdrivers was really just not to break an aesthetic. I wanted to blend in with all my hand planes and all my other traditional wooden tools. They're also not designed to be pieces of art. These are mostly utilitarian. So I wasn't going for a perfectly finished appearance. There is no covering on the copper and it oxidizes right away, but it's just fine for me.